Praise be to God. Praise be to God. It's a delight to share God's word with you again. The flower face is a leaf wither, but the word of God abide forever. Amen. Amen. We are actually disciplining ourselves and sticking with the subject for the month. Praising God. We can talk about praising God, practice praising God, and giving Him all the glory all day long. That's what a song writer says, praising my Savior all the day long. Because this is my story, this is my song. When you sit down and you consider who God is, what He has done, and the fact that you have received uh, an invitation to the, to become part of His eternal kingdom, He deserves to be praised. Amen. And let us honor Him and thank Him. Let us be consumed by his kindness i want to pray for you that you get help from god as well may god help you this week may god help you and support you and strengthen you one thing god has is help he is a helper to the helpless he is a strength we need for life in jesus mighty name amen 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 all right so what we're going to do this week um is to talk about non non verbal praise non verbal praise non verbal praise genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth. let me quickly um spend some time with you on tackling the subject non-verbal praise that's what we're going to focus on this week the first non-verbal praise is work ethic work ethic um and what I mean by work ethic is that how you work is how um, how you work is translated as your praise to God. How you work is translated as your praise to God. In the beginning, God created. So you understand that um, as to what your two hands is doing in this life started with God. You will be surprised that in the beginning, God did not sing. In the beginning, God did not pray. Who will God even pray to? In the beginning, God did not um, did not do anything spiritual, even though he exists as a spirit. But in the beginning, God worked. So work, the first person that worked was God. And so creation, especially man, made in the image of God, when he's working, he bring praise to God. When a manufacturer manufacture anything and that thing is working, then it bring praise to God. When that thing is broken, it doesn't bring praise. Remember, some time ago I talked about the scripture that says that the person who built deserves more honor than the building itself. So, in other words, what brings praise to God is your work ethic when you are working and so that's what i want to talk about a little bit today so when i talk about your work ethic i want to set that in reality the reason why only one percent of the world population controls so much is because to tell you the truth a lot of people are working below their potential a lot of people are living below their potential a lot of people are living below their full capacity they are not operating with all the cylinders they are not playing their a game and there are many reasons why a lot of people are not giving a hundred percent in their work they do and the primary reason is because we have shifted our focus on who we work for or who receive praise when we give excellence and we are focused on people. First thing I would say is that if you focus on people, you will never give your best in life. 
if you focus, if your work ethic, if how you work, whether work, whatever kind of vocation, whatever kind of work, in general, if how you do things is not excellent, you are not a lazy person. Chances are there's a reason why you are not giving your best. I told you a while ago about a part uh a TikTok that I, I I listened to about a lady that was saying that it's about time you wise up because if you go to work and you see a problem and you take care of it and you keep taking care of it even though it wasn't your problem that you started taking care of it at some point if you don't do it anymore you'll be penalized for something which was not your job in the first place so what i'm saying is that if you take your eyes off god you will never give a hundred percent at your job if you take your eyes off god you will never give hundred percent at your marriage if you take your eyes off of God, you will never give a hundred percent to anything because people are going to show you that they don't care how much you give. They will treat you the same way. Do you understand? People will treat you the same way no matter how far you go for them. What did that wise man say again? He says, Don't give more to a person who didn't appreciate it the first time you gave. I didn't capture it exactly, but the whole point is that giving more to a person who didn't appreciate the first one is not how you gain appreciation. So, all I want to use this Monday to talk about is try your best and know that it is God that's why you are alive. God is the reason why you woke up today. God is the reason why you do everything you do. If you remember that, you will always bring your A game to everything. Because the truth is, some people don't deserve your A game. For the way they treat you, that's how you should treat them. Which woman on this platform will do everything nice for the husband? And then this husband start being unfaithful and start being ungrateful. And which woman will continue that? Which man will continue to spoil his wife if the wife starts to act irresponsible, start to act lazy? So the point is that when you forget that it is God you are living for, you will never do excellent in life. Because to tell you the truth, (laughs) <laughs> Can I tell you something? <laughs> um, corruption is a problem in Africa. And in the minds of most people, if you are trying to help corruption, they are happy, but there are some level of corruption they are okay to live with. So you trying to, in other words, if you're trying to fight corruption and then a a, a police officer stops you and then you give a small bribe or whatever, even though everybody in the car wants corruption to stop in Africa, that bribe, they are okay with you paying the bribe for all of them to get to work safely than for you to fight corruption that so what i'm saying is that some people even don't want you to be excellent at what you do there are people there's some people that are okay with you not being excellent so until you leave for god until i leave for god we will never do excellent work primarily because people will not appreciate it and and two because it takes a lot of hard work to bring your A game all the time. But I just can't help but tell you that one way you give nonverbal praise to God is a quality work ethic. When you clean a room, you can say, I'm preaching to myself, trust me. When you clean a room, you can say, This person cleaned the room. As for this lady, 
you can see that she is the one that dressed this bed. As for this gentleman, you can see that he was the one that took of this patient. Out of this teacher, you know that he prepared this notes. Out of this pastor, you know that he prepared this sermon. Because as for you, whatever you put your hand to do, you give a hand to it. And that is called non-verbal praise. It is God you live for. Who else are you living for if he is the one that gave you the breath you have? The one that controls your breath is the one that you are living for. And so I come to talk to all of us, including myself, because I, I, need, <laughs> I need to sit up and do my job well, you know. Combining my, my professional job and my ministry and my organization is a crazy, hectic something that at some point, my boss will tell you, sir, you are not really contributing to your quota that you're supposed to. So what I'm really saying is that how you work is your praise to God. It's called non-verbal praise, how you work. And so that's all I want to share. Nothing too long. Do your best and 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 remember why you do what you do. And the answer is not because of people. Because if you follow people, you will never give your best. If you follow people, because the funny thing is, if you sometimes you give your best to people who think you are stupid. You follow? You give your best to people who think you are stupid. You break your back for people only for them to turn their back on you when you need them most. So if you consider all of this, you will not give your best in life because you realize that you don't give what is good to dogs you don't give put your pearl before swines and so that you will pull back and wise up and not realizing that actually if i give my excellent regardless is for god the truth is that if you give your excellent all the time you would never lack in life let me share a quick testimony. I'll summarize it. Somebody is watching you, but you don't know. Somebody is watching you to honor you for always doing the best that you do. When they gossip about you, you do your best. When they accuse you, you do your best. It's not easy, but I want to encourage you to do that. And God will bless you. So, first, non verbal praise how you work. It's your praise to God. Always give your best to whatever you do. Before I sign off, I pray that God will bless you to do what you are, what you love to do. Because sometimes what you do is not what you love to do, so it becomes a dread. But may God push you into the area where you function with joy and not even get tired because you're, you love what God has placed on your heart. May you find your vocation in that which you are passionate in. And may that be your financial source of income. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.